church family, this is Preacher Mitch, um, bringing you a devotion from the porch of the preacher again. I want to tell our church family we love them, appreciate all the prayers that you've uh, lifted up for my mom and the situations we got going on as a family. I want to start the devotion today with a question <clears throat> and ask you, what's the hardest thing that you've ever had to face? And a lot of us face a lot of storms, a lot of different things in our life, and in Luke chapter 6, Jesus gives us a couple of verses. He says this, Whoever comes to me and hears my saying and does them, I will show him who he is like. He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. Then he says, And when the floods arose or when the storms came and when it beat down against the house, it could not shake it, for it was founded on the rock. How did you handle it when that storm came your way? And, and what's tough is when one storm comes on top of another storm, and in those verses, Jesus tells each of us that storms will come. He said that storms will come with wind and rising water, and that storms would come on each of us. None of us are free from the situation of storms. But the promise of Jesus is that the one who hears God's word and acts on God's word is on a firm foundation. He says he'll be like a man who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock. And he says that we'll not be shaken and we'll not be destroyed. Rather, Jesus says that we'll stand. There's a couple of things that he tells us in those verses that we need to do, he, he says you must come to him and we must hear his word. We must not only read his word, but we must hear his word. And then we must act on what we know. A couple of years ago, Deborah and I poured a driveway. It's probably been over 10 years now. And we poured it out of concrete. And I saw something that I liked at another driveway. And I've used this illustration before at church. But what we did, we put gravel about two foot out on each side of the driveway. And uh, what we did, we had a dump truck dump a load of gravel up the driveway and we raked it off the sides. And uh, every morning when I walk, I would walk down the driveway and I would kick the rocks off the driveway. Very simple task. And um, I'd click, keep the driveway clean of those rocks. It was just a little pet peeve of mine. But one day there was a time that I didn't walk for several days. It may be three or four days. And I started down the driveway and there was rocks everywhere. Because every time we made a slip, every time we got off to the side of the driveway, our tires would throw rocks up on the driveway. So we would we'd have rocks all over them. That's like the storms of life. If we will act on God's word, stand on his firm foundation and do it every day, it's an easy task to clear all the debris that the storms bring. But when we miss a couple of days of seeking him, a couple of days of standing strong, it can be tough to get rid of all those rocks and all those things that the storm brings. We can talk to Jesus about it, though, and uh, I've got a prayer that's written here, and it goes kind of like this. Father, as the storms of life come, Teach me to believe and stand on your promises, but help me to do my part. My part was to go every day and kick those rocks off. When I miss four or five days, and take instead of taking just a few minutes to go down through there and kick them off, it took me almost all morning to get my driveway cleaned off one rock at a time. So I want to challenge you, when storms come, draw in close to Jesus. Clean up all the debris of that storm and let everything be pure between you and him. And then I want to say thank you that you are my firm foundation. You are my solid rock. And Lord Jesus, I thank you that my chief, you're my chief cornerstone. And when storms come, I know I can depend on you. God bless you, church family. It won't be long until we get back to church together. Have a great Friday evening, and we'll talk to you later.